Hey y'all, coach in the fight here. Yeah, Shadow Man with me. Now, the coolest thing about Shadow Man is he's always got his back to the sun. And if you know what time it is, you know that's a good idea to have your back to the sun. Because from that direction is where all our troubles is going to come from. Talking about the solar flare, talking about the CME, talking about the pole shift. Yep. So, stay tuned. We're going to be talking about dates in this video. Pulling out Zechariah chapter 1. We're going to be talking about Revelation chapter 8 in this video. sheep in the street in this video everything is a parable the sheep can follow me out here in a row so i'm gonna take this off so i can check freely and we're gonna go see what these sheep are trying to do down here going towards the direction of these dogs this video is brought to you by the celestial clock calendar get your celestial clock calendar at coachingafight.shop or follow the links in the description below okay so we out here with the sheep and yeah they they crossing the road and stuff so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do this video out here. I, I can. Um, it just won't be as good, but you get the message and the point. Um, now we'll gladly do it again. This is real important stuff as we talk about uh, Zachariah and some of these prophecies. Up there. All right, so what we're looking at here is Zechariah chapter 7. Now, let me go ahead and read this verse. It says, And it came to pass in the fourth year of King Darius that the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah in the fourth day of the ninth month, even in Chislu. Okay, Chislu, Chislu. Um, so this is the ninth month, and this is a prophecy. Now, let's come back to it. First, I want to take you back to chapter 1 where Daniel, I mean, not Daniel, but Zechariah is also given a word from the Lord. We see there in verse one, but now we notice the difference here in verse one. There isn't given a day. He isn't given a day there in verse one. He's just given the month. Now notice this year that is given. It says in the second year of Darius the king. Now back there in chapter seven it was up to the fourth year but here we are in the second year of Darius the king now the significance of this and the reason why I bring this up is because of what we see down in about verse seven now I'm starting to get a little bit ahead of myself and it's kind of good that I'm out here with these sheep who are actually <laughs> they're trying to get past me they're trying to they trying to go where the dog's at anyway I mean they um, actually got me in the sun. Up there now. Go back toward the house. Plenty of eat over there. Come on. Yeah, you, the, you the troublemaker look like. Hey, you crossing the road. I wonder if they make shot collars for sheep. The difference between a shot collar for sheep and a shot collar for dogs is that you have to be able to turn the shot collar on for sheep remotely because they won't let you touch them like that, like a dog will. Stay out of the street. Need me a rod. I don't have a rod. Is the problem. <laughs> All right. So this might be tougher than I think. Looking at verse seven. Let me just read it. It says, "Up on the four and twentieth day of the eleventh month, which is the month Sebat, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Ido, the prophet, saying." And what he told him was of the fraying of the Gentiles. And that all that's left is how you have these horns that were set up to uh, scatter the chosen seed. And then you have how there, these carpenters are brought about to dismantle or fray, is the word he used, these horns. And it even, you know, goes on to make it clear that this is actually the fraying of the Gentiles. And it tells you why that they must be frayed and all of this and all of that. Well, the thing about it, we did a class on this on February the 11th. Let me, let me see if I can pull that class up. 
and sheep the other way now. They, they, they go on the, place, the direction where there ain't no dogs yet. So what's my excuse now? Because one of them's still in the road. Hey, mind of that. It might be half far eight right if they can listen to verbal commands. February the 11th. We produced this video and it hasn't been changed. Um, the video hasn't been changed since. There's this one that actually talks about the prophecy that we read about in Zechariah chapter 1, verses 7, 12, and 21. So let's go back over and look at those 7, 12, and 21. We read 7. 12 says, Then the angel of the Lord answered and says, O Lord of the hosts, how long wilt thou not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah, against which thou hast had indignation these three score and ten years? It's talking about these 70 years of Daniel now. Daniel's prophecy, not when they was enslaved, like they want you to believe, but we're talking a futuristic event. And then verse 21, the last one says, Then said I, what come these to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head, but that these are come to fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horns over the land of Judah, to scatter it. Now, those who are familiar with the scripture, will quickly recognize that this is talking about the ongoing war over there in Jerusalem and the Middle East, I should say. The thing about it, this verse right here actually predicted it. And I showed you the video where we boldly made this statement. This was the this was the title of it. Or well, there was a thumbnail and, you know, listen to the video and we talked about the fraying, how the fraying would begin in this time. This was a prophecy that our father allowed us to understand on or about February 10th, February 9th, February 11th or so is when the video was actually published. And what it says in there is that on February the 26th, I, I gave the date and everything, on February the 26th, this event would take place. Now, look how bold that is now. Look how bold that is. You know, on February the 11th, I said that the Gentiles, well, the scripture said, and I'll put it in a video, that the Gentiles would start getting frayed on February the 26th. And so let, let me show you something. When did Russia invade Ukraine? On February 24th. So within two days, and then you think about how our father's sacred time is and how you would have had to back up to February 25th. This thing could have been within hours. It definitely was within hours of chapter one, saying that they will start the fray. And then you understand how Russia is a, is a, is Magog and Gog and, and China and all of them are supposed to get together and have this war over in Jerusalem that's starting now. Well, not starting, it started back there on February the 24th. How come my car? Got the road. Got a road. Right, stay over there. Y'all look like y'all trying to go somewhere in the damn way. I appreciate No, I was out here making YouTube videos. Look, I, I got a YouTube channel, right? Okay. It's called Coaching the Fight. And part of my thing is I make video. This is one of my characters. This is Shadow Man. All right. Yeah, so yeah, he be in the video talking, right? Because I don't show my face. Nobody knows who he is. It's an anonymous channel. <laughs> they don't know who, who I am or that. And so when I need to show them something to look at, because normally it's, it's Bible verses and stuff. I teach the Bible. But when I want to show them something to look at or make a quick video, I come out here in the road and I say, hey, y'all, Shadow Man, as if he the one giving the message, right? He don't talk. <laughs> He, he, he like told me to say this and told me to say, he gets me in trouble. He's the man. He the man. He, he, he's speaking to me and I, I got to translate for him. And he tell, he'd get me in trouble. He, he, he's... <laughs> yes, he would. <laughs> I, tell, I got three grandchildren. They live in New York. Oh, yeah? They're out in rural New York. And they had goats. And two of my little granddaughters, they started Goat 101. And they had a YouTube channel. Them children would make those things. They'd be so funny. Yeah. The animals is fun. And then the children, too. I bet, yeah. All right. You continue making your movie. 
Yeah. You may be fighting. Hey, if you think of me, look, coach in the fight. What's the call? Coach, like I, we, we, I coach like a baseball. Okay. And it, then it's one word, in the fight, I-N-T-A-T-F-I-G-H-T, in the fight, and it's no spaces, yeah. I'm, and I won't tell nobody who can shout at me. This is about to rub. Oh, jokers, man. I'll just go where the dogs live, huh? Where you going? What you thought you was finna do? Huh? What you thought you finna do? Get shot? It's a good way to get shot, I'm telling you. Sheep are on the wild and on the loose. Loosey loose, say. On the loose. Say the sheep are on the wild and on the loose. This video is brought to you by the Celestial Clock Calendar, the official timepiece of the 144,000. Get your Celestial Clock Calendar at coachinafight.shop or follow the links in the description below. That song was called The Sheep is on the Wild and on the Loose. Everything is a parable. Anyway, let's keep going. So that's chapter one. And that prophecy was obviously fulfilled with the breakdown of the peace talks between Zelensky and Putin, which was the beginning of this ongoing war, which is now headed towards Jerusalem. And that brings us to chapter seven. You see, it starts over there in chapter one, talking about Jerusalem. Verse 12, yeah, he starts talking about mercy on Jerusalem. And then, so that's where it started with the fraying of these Gentiles. And then when we come to verse 1, it's talking about the fourth year of Darius the king. The other one was the second year. This one is the fourth year. The other one was fulfilled in 2022. And if my math is correct, we can expect this one to be fulfilled in the year 2023. On the fourth day of the ninth month in the year 2023. So now the thing becomes, what is it? What is it actually saying? And that's where the problem is because it's not as clear as the other one. Chapter one was very clear when it said the fraying of the Gentiles. And we can see how they've been getting frayed ever since. And how there's more fraying to come. But this one over here is not so specific. It's actually talking about the fast of the fourth, I'm sorry, in the fifth and the seventh month. It doesn't mention the fourth and it doesn't mention the tenth here in this verse. So I guess that's where the learning is, is because what's the relationship between the fifth month and the seventh month? Well, seventh month fast is atonement day. And that brings us to 2023 with the prophetic fulfillment of Revelation chapter eight. But the thing about the fifth month, we have to go back to Second Kings to hear about it. So let's do that. So we're looking here in Second Kings chapter 25. And it says, and in the fifth month or on the seventh day of the month, which is the 19th year, the king of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came Nebuchadnezzar, captain of the guard, the servant of the king of Babylon unto Jerusalem. And that's when he burnt the house of the Lord. That's when he burnt the temple down. So somehow this prophecy is related to this temple being burned down. Now, is it the time when the temple will be constructed? Uh, thing about it, the temple construction kind of lines up with the pole shift or something like that, right? Well, you go back and you start looking in Zechariah chapter 7, and it starts talking about atonement day kind of stuff. Now, let's go over to Revelation chapter 8. Because that's actually what we're talking about here. Only because of the timing. This prophecy is set to be fulfilled before April 9th of the year 2024. If you understand 
the seventh seal and how it opened in 1975 and how it's how hour of silence is about 50 years you understand that that x across america uh, which is actually a tav it's not an x it's a tav which is the sign of the covenant um marking 400 years and fulfilling the abraham chapter 15 promise or prophecy well you look down in here in uh, Revelation chapter 8, verse 5 is talking about how this angel took the censer, filled it with fire of the altar, and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. So this is possibly what we could be talking about here around atonement day it could be atonement day but what i think this is all pointing to is what we talked about over there in zachariah in chapter seven i could be wrong um of course um the purpose of putting these type videos out is to make you aware so if anything does go down on atonement day you will know what we're talking about you'll know that this is actually what we're talking about and not just some random event. You'll know that it has been prophesied and it does have our father attached to it. You know, so it's not going, it's going to be rough, but it's not going to be a bad thing. It's going to work out in, to our favor. And while, while I'm talking about this, guys, let me tell you what we need to be doing to get prepared for this is reading the book of the covenant, especially during this season between the memorial blowing of trumpets and the feast of tabernacles we should especially be reading the book of the covenant that's exodus chapter 20 chapter 21 chapter 22 and chapter 23 four chapters that make up the book of the law that's what the law is and we are expected to read it during the feast of tabernacles well we definitely want to be doing that in this season in preparation for these, these events that are going on and looks like the sheep are secure and are happy inside the fence where they supposed to be. Yip yep. yep.